Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, they're one of the most storied franchises in the NFL, the Green Bay Packers. Maybe the most storied franchise, but can this year's version of the green and gold put it all together? Green Bay Packers, Detroit Lions, next. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Ford Field. My associate is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams are expecting solid play from their linebacking core. Well, as well they should, Dan. Both teams have a talented cast of linebackers who have the speed and strength to really make their presence known on the field. The Packers have a talented team of linebackers who are the heart and soul of their defense. These guys have a desire and a passion to win that helps sustain the entire team. The Lions have a squad of linebackers who are really proficient pass rushers. They like to put pressure on the quarterback and force turnovers. Both groups should factor heavily in the outcome today, but only one will go home with the W. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses. But Terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one touch. Despite being covered by two defenders, Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about the right, next. Dominant pass, dominant run, a lot of firepower on the field. Peterson gets the call again and gets in for the score. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field reach the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard. Jones gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. Rogers zips it to the left sideline and catch. the catch is made well past the markers for a first <laughs> down. Oh, look at the quarterback and the star tight end there. You gotta think they'll try to hook up. Jones gets the ball and gets the touchdown. This is a nice short yardage run here, Dan. When push comes to shove, you want to be able to get the... Number 12 fields the kickoff at the 1. Right down at the 20. And that'll do it for the first That's half the of this of the one. Quarter. The Packers in command of this one, 28 to 10. And now let's say... Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Lions are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Adrian Peterson got the carry here and he was able to break through. A two yard touchdown for the Lions. The Lions get the first points of the game and go up by seven. After driving 11 yards on five plays, number five would come on and connect on the field goal try. Connect on the field goal. The Packers midway through the first, Packers trailing by 10. Rodgers would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. They climb back into the game, now down by three. The Lions end of the first quarter. Smith was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Lions winning 10 to seven. Rodgers would find his target on this one. A 25-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers take their first lead in the game and are now up by four. The Packers now early in the second quarter, this time at the 26. Harmon is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Lions midway through the second, Lions behind by four. Smith shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Packers middle of the second, Rodgers connected with his man on this one. A 26-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers ahead, 21 to 10. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 23-yard play that set up a Lion field goal, but they couldn't connect. The Packers back on offense after a missed field goal. The ball at the 41. Jones is gonna get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. A 37-yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Lions are down at the half, 28 to 10. And now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Number 11 has been unstoppable. 
So that does it. Packers can get another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Rodgers really right. Three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one. Terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Locked down hard at the 25. Rodgers makes the pass, and this one is incomplete. Adam Rodgers throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Shadowing them, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all Down at the 10. Number 55 knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers in on the passing game. Tough play. I love it. The Packers offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably look to take the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at the 37-yard line. One man to beat. Drag down at the 31. Man. 14-yard Jones down, gains back. 10 yards on the play, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. All right, all right. <laughs> Jones dodges this one way out right and gets in for the score. Nader. And it will be a first down. First down, one man back. The pass is incomplete. Number 26 hammers the Number receiver and forces him to drop receiver. the ball incomplete. With the Kim <laughs> never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent a completion. You know what? Number 19 catches the suit. Be like that, Dan. Number 9 throws a heater and it's caught for the score. Incompletion. He's come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Number nine throws a high, long one to the right, and it's intercepted. Number 31 does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception the of the game. Of yeah, you got to love D like that. And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top, 45 to 20. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter after driving 28 yards on seven plays. Number five, get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver a 51-yard field goal. The Lions close in a little. They're now down by 15. After driving 55 yards on eight plays, number two is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. Connect on the field goal. Packers out in front by 18. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. The Lions have it after a turnover on downs. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Lions back 31 to 13. Smith would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Packers have it off an interception already inside field goal range. Jones got the carry here and he comes through. Touchdown for the Packers. Lions down by 25. King shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Packers have it off an interception. Jones found a little opening. That was all he needed. A four-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers out in front, 45 to 13. Number nine would find his target on this one. A 27-yard play that set up a Lion touchdown. The Lions trying to make something happen and are now down by 25. Ball at their own 44-yard line. 
number 31, was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers serve up a blowout, 45 to 20. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Jones was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Calder. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really hustled today and led your team to a big win. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I have to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. You know, the offense starts out with the foundation, and that's the offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring it every game. I think their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top today. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.